Morning, Mira. How did I sleep last night? Good morning, Katie. It looks like you had a pretty bad night of sleep. Your HRV was five points lower than normal, and you only got 35 minutes of deep sleep. Maybe you should stop burning the candle at both ends. I didn't come here for a lecture. What do I need to do to get back on track? I sent a list of supplements to your refrigerator and updated your fitness goals for the day. Take it easy. Hey, thanks. Catch you later. Hey, refrigerator. Wow, you really screwed up last night. What's up, friends, and welcome back to my channel. While I'm sad to say that the world you just saw doesn't exist quite yet, it's definitely where the future of health is headed. Now, of course, in order to get there, we need a massive integration of all our health stats into one unified place, which hasn't really existed before. And to be completely honest, I didn't think the day would come so soon, but here we are, 2021. And so I present to you what I found to be a new all-in-one health dashboard powered by Heads Up Health. This platform pulls in data from tracking devices like the Aura Ring and Fitbit, along with your medical records, so that you essentially have this one-stop shop for all of your health stats. Now, it's certainly not perfect, but it is the best one I've come across so far. So in this video, I'll walk you through how this platform works, discuss the pros and the cons, and share with you the one feature that I think gives heads up a leg up in the health space. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the type A tribe. Now, before we dive into the Heads Up platform, let's quickly talk about what the main problem is in the tracking space right now. If you're like me, you might be tracking your health and fitness stats with two, three, or maybe even a dozen different devices. From rings to watches and CGMs, tracking can be great for habit building, but then what do you do with all those results scattered across different apps and devices? I mean, even with Apple Health and Google Fit, there's no simple way to really look at the big picture and start making correlations on a macro level, short of, spending hours knee deep in Excel spreadsheets. Been there, done that, and it is a total time suck. And so after nearly two years of endless frustration with these manual uploads, I finally stumbled on a platform that takes all your disparate health stats and does the grunt work for you by integrating all of this data into one unified place. So that being said, let's dive headfirst into the heads up platform, and we'll start with data sources. As you'll see here, these are all the options you have to work with, at least at the time of this recording. Now, there are definitely some big players missing from this list, including Whoop, Polar, and Zero, but it's not a bad first draft, and the company is still evolving. So I pulled in my data from Aura, Fitbit, Apple Health, and Withings, and so this is what my dashboard looks like. And a couple of things to point out. First off, everything is customizable. At the top of each tile, you'll see a drop-down option, which lets you select which device to pull data from. So for sleep, I went with my Aura Ring, but for steps, I chose Fitbit. Now, when you click on the tile itself, you can actually switch between today's stats and your week at a glance. Now, this is great if you're just looking to get a quick read on how you're trending for the week and areas to potentially course correct. Now, as I mentioned, most of these tiles are pulling data straight from your devices, but there are a handful of stats like fasting and cryotherapy that only allow for manual entries. Moving on to the vertical ellipses you'll find on the right-hand side of the tile. And it's here that you have the option to either graph your data, change the widget color, or even hide the tile altogether. You can also drag and drop these tiles around, arranging them in whatever order makes the most sense to you. Plus, you can add additional stats using the plus button at the bottom of the page, and there's even an option for dark mode in the drop-down category under your name. So that's really the gist of what you get from the dashboard, but it is certainly not where the story ends. Where I think you really get your money's worth is in their reporting feature. So let's dive right in. When you open up the reporting tab, you'll see a bunch of biomarkers on the left-hand side to pick from, ranging from nutrition to activity, rest, recovery, and more. At the risk of sounding like a complete nerd, 
This is really where the fun stuff begins as you start to put the pieces together and assemble your custom graphs. I mean, say you wanna figure out the correlation between step counts and deep sleep or HRV and carb intake. Are there even correlations to be made here? Gone are the days of guessing about this stuff because this platform makes it so damn easy to compare your metrics side by side. And as a bonus, you don't need any prior experience with Excel macros or Google Sheets. You just need to know what you're looking for and why. So here's a quick example. We're gonna look at REM sleep from the Oura Ring and step counts from Fitbit. Now the graph itself looks like there might be some correlation here, but when you turn on the advanced view at the top, you can actually see where the trend lines fall. And in this case, there does seem to be somewhat of a positive correlation between more steps and higher REM scores. Underneath the graph, you'll also find a breakdown of your min and max and averages for these two metrics based on whatever time frame you selected. And because there's an export feature, this means you can take all this data and share it with your health provider or coach to basically track your progress over time. And on that note, there is an option to upload your labs and medical records so you can access everything health-related from just one place. And to ensure privacy protection, they've also included an encrypted document sharing feature here as well. So now that you've had a full tour around the platform, Let's take a look at the pros and the cons. Now on the plus side, you don't have to pay an arm and a leg for this service. It's currently priced at $10 a month for individual users with a 30 day free trial that includes access to all their features. They also have a ton of options for larger businesses, which allow you to bulk upload data for multiple users. Another feature I found useful was their weekly report, which gets delivered straight to your inbox every Monday morning. This gives you a quick snapshot from your past week to see how it compares with the previous two weeks and your 12 week trailing average. And since you can customize this report, you have full control over what metrics you actually wanna pay attention to each week. And finally, it's worth mentioning that they also have a concierge feature since some of your past medical data will need to be uploaded to the platform manually. Now it is a paid service, but definitely an option if you don't have the time or the mental wherewithal to upload all your old medical records to their site one by one. Moving on to the cons, and we'll start with what I think is the biggest one right now, limited data sources. After combing through their list, I was definitely curious why some big players, including Whoop, were noticeably absent. Well, I can tell you it isn't because of a lack of demand, quite the opposite. Heads Up CEO David Korsunski says the real roadblock is that certain companies like Whoop don't wanna release their private APIs. They do not have an API that they're willing to work with us on. So um, sometimes that's just the reality is that it's a closed API or it's a private API. If we got access to that one, we'd, we'd love to partner with those guys. Sometimes we're just at the, the mercy of, of who's on the other end. Now, Whoop and Polar aside, what I really wanna see is a full integration of all the major players in the CGM space, including NutriSense and Levels, so I can really get a better understanding of how my glucose data affects all my other health metrics. Now, they've already started beta testing with Dexcom, and David tells me they're working on getting Freestyle up there as well, but it's just gonna take some time. Another major drawback is the limited capabilities of their current app. As of right now, the app doesn't let you look at your reports or access your medical data. It only functions as a dashboard, meaning you have to use their web portal in order to do any big data analysis. Now, this may not be a deal breaker for all, but definitely something to keep in mind if you prefer working with all your data on the go. Now, on the upside, David says they are working on rolling out some new features that users can expect in the coming months. Medical records, uh, food journal, there's some features for um, connecting with a healthcare provider on the system, secure messaging, and uh, being able to send uh, coaching notes back and forth. So more so of the collaboration tools, I guess, between a, an individual and a practitioner. We'll just continue to try to get mobile as close to feature parity with web as, as possible. So taking all of these pros and cons into account, 
And yes, the platform is still a work in progress, especially on the mobile front. But that's not to say that what they've built is not impressive and worth checking out, especially if you've been struggling to figure out a way to manage all the data that you track. Now, I have no personal ties or affiliations to this company. In fact, I stumbled on it because of a Facebook targeted ad, just like everyone else. But if you're curious to learn more or check out their free trial, I'll of course include some links in the show notes below. And if you have any thoughts or feedback on the platform itself, leave a comment below and I will make sure that it gets passed along to their team. So thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and then hit that notification bell so you get notified each week when I drop a new video. And until then, I can't wait to catch you on the next one.